Special moments in gaming are special for a reason, but what's even more special is sharing those moments with all of your friends. Valve just implemented a brand new recording feature on the Steam Deck directly, but is it any good? Let's talk about it. Welcome back to the Steam Deck Masterclass. This is Volume 18. Today, we're going to talk about recording your footage from your Steam Deck in many different ways. But before that, if you like this video or any other video I make, please like, subscribe, and share with all of your friends. Spreading the good gospel of high-tech lowlife lets the YouTube algorithm know that I'm doing well. Valve has implemented a brand new feature in Steam known as Steam Game Recording. You can record gameplay. You can also look back at your last 30 seconds of gameplay. There's also quick built-in tools to essentially clip gameplay, clip only the good stuff, and you can even share all of these with your friends on just about anything. At least, that's the idea. It's a feature that's been long requested by many Steam Deck users. Heck, even the Nintendo Switch has built-in recording features, so it should be possible. And yes, it's always been possible for people willing to install Decky. But with this new update, just about anyone can do it for free, and it's built in, so long as you update your Steam Deck. As of the making of this video, it's part of the Steam Beta branch, but eventually it'll move on to the Stable branch, so I will be giving you my first impressions of this feature in this video. Before you can do any of this, there is a brand new menu you have to visit in the Settings menu, known as Game Recording. You can set up the behavior of this new feature, you can have this new feature not run at all, or you could have it run in the background all the time. Setting background recording on automatically records gameplay footage all in the background, all without user input. By default, it can record up to 120 minutes of footage before it starts deleting older footage. Yes, it's a continual process. This mode of recording is useful in case you're playing games and you have a sick moment but you forget to record them. Or you could have it run on demand. You can either start recording through the game menu or you can start recording by pressing Steam plus A. Pressing Steam plus A again disengages is the recording. You have more finesse and more control over this mode, but you have to remember to use it. And from what I can see right here, the footage is actually pretty decent. Now granted, the image isn't quite as crisp as, say, recording the game through a capture card. But again, I should emphasize, I have a fairly high-end capture card. But the difference is night and day, even with like a 2D action game. <laughs> It's not to say that the Steam Deck footage isn't good, it is quite impressive. But of course, if you're looking for the best footage, then it's pretty clear you should use a capture card. And of course, you can watch all of your footage directly from a Steam Deck. And the tools to say edit and clip videos? They're pretty decent. Yes, obviously exporting the entire video into a video editor and then just making clips directly in the video editor like DaVinci Resolve would be better. But these tools are built into the Steam Deck directly. The tools are pretty solid. But to be fair, the tools only really exist to help you create clips. When recording directly off of a Steam Deck while playing in handheld mode, it's pretty good. But of course, when trying to record gameplay while docked, the recorded footage seems to exist but significant issues. Like for example, a Zero Striker Gunvolt 3, it only records a black screen while I try to record gameplay while docked. And Cyberpunk's footage is weirdly zoomed in towards the top left corner of the screen while docked. It's a weird issue that only happens when you're docked. It seems like every game behaves differently when docked, so I'm not entirely sure if this extends to, say, the rest of the Steam library, but I've noticed issues, so I'm gonna point out my experiences. So that's one caveat I wasn't expecting. The Steam recording feature has a number of sharing options, but there aren't any real options for sharing over to any social medias or over to YouTube, at least not from your Steam Deck directly. To do any of this, you will have to send your footage over to your phone or perhaps to your PC. You can send this over to any PCs that your Steam account is logged into. And yes, it will send the clips over, but you're not done yet. Sending it to your computer alone doesn't make it usable for anything outside of, say, 
play Steam itself. Thankfully, with Desktop Steam, you can export any of your clips to an MP4 file. You can upload this to any website or anything that supports MP4, such as YouTube or Twitter or Facebook or whatever. While you can record as much as you want on the Steam Deck, sending footage over to your PC is a different story. You can only send clips that are lower than 100 megabytes, or in the case of this Azure Striker Gunvolt footage, roughly around 57 seconds. That's just enough time to make a TikTok or a YouTube short. To be honest, I wish on the Steam Deck there was a way to share directly to your social medias or YouTube or whatever. I think that would have been extremely helpful. But for content creators that say they want to make editorialized videos, it seems like it would be a pretty good option. Like maybe I'll use it in a pinch when I'm feeling extra lazy. But yes, it's worth mentioning this stuff does eat up your storage. And all of this video footage is stored on your SSD. So if you have a lower capacity Steam Deck, then maybe consider not using this feature. I don't know. But there is another caveat that I'm sure a lot of people are curious about. Will this affect game performance? And the answer is yes, depending on what game you're playing. Now, obviously, if you're playing a 2D game like Azure Striker Gun Vault, it really shouldn't affect performance. But let's say you're playing a game like Cyberpunk 2077, a game that does run pretty decently on Steam Deck, but it uses a lot of resources and it will demand every resource the Steam Deck has. I've run the benchmark a couple of times and I have noticed that, yes, recording footage does impact your frame rate. I mean, that was pretty obvious, right? Now, I haven't tested hundreds of times, nor have I truly benchmarked it, so to speak, but I do want to point out that it is not an insignificant loss of performance. In some testing scenarios, I've lost up to 8 frames per second, while recording, of course. So it may not be advisable to, say, record games that run poorly, because it'll run even worse. So realistically, is this a good feature? Yes, it's an objectively good feature. It's better than just not having the feature. And if you're someone that actually uses Steam's social features, then it'll probably be the best way to share all of your footage. But of course, this is a beta, and as such, there are some caveats. I've mentioned most, if not all, of the caveats. Some caveats, such as having issues while docked, can be fixed by Valve, and hopefully after I publish this video, Valve will notice and fix it. Some other caveats, like having to upload less than 100 megabytes of video, and and having to export it to MP4, this may not necessarily be improved or fixed, but Valve could prove me wrong. And of course, arguably the biggest caveat is performance, and that's intrinsic to the technology. Recording with a capture card, even a cheapo USB 2.0 capture card made for like DSLRs, would not take away performance from your Steam Deck. Yes, it would be running at its maximum frame rate. There's a reason why I use my capture card to record footage. It's because I don't lose any performance, and also because because the footage just ends up looking better. But I'm also a content creator, so my use cases are very different from, say, someone else's. If you just wanted to record a silly little gameplay clip and then upload it, you can do that, and it's made a lot easier if you want to do it off of a Steam Deck. If you like this video, please press the like button and check out our other videos. And if you like those other videos as well, be sure to press the subscribe button and share the good gospel of high-tech lowlife with your friends. Furthermore, we have a community discord for enlightened individuals such as you. And if you wish to further support high-tech lowlife, be sure to check out our Patreon page. Links in the description.